Time to get going. Everybody already upset, but everybody upset with Allison, break down that door. If you would, please. Okay, Sarion, can you attack? Can you run in and attack? You can. To please the do death. that. <laughs> Never a dull moment. I'm gonna move forward. Time to press ahead. Actually. Let's make a stand. Oh, oh little way. child. You made a mistake. Aw, oh, dang it. You don't actually have to do that either. Attack through. I know how else I can attack through. He's also very buff. No time to waste. Is it bad to Eldritch Blast the child if it's a goblin child? Let's find out. No. We got a blessing from that, so I'm gonna say it was a good idea. What's your best thing? Dexterity? Okay. You okay? <laughs> You're not making it past. Hey, you got some heals though. Might be able to kill him. <laughs> oh, really? Really? I won't give in. <laughs> when did slip? Okay, I'll save you. We will have Shadowheart go in. For a save. <laughs> yes. On my way. Help him out. So 
he's gonna run, he's gonna let them out. Well, we already eligible to blast one child, so might as well eligible to blast another one. No survivors. That one's just chilling. <laughs> Dang. Yes, here. Does need more like health potions. Running out of health potions, man. I can't even catch my breath. With haste. All right, you and me, Halson. Wow. Nice. And the floor is icy now. Like, sir, you are free to go down there. On I go. No one's gonna stop you. But, you know. <laughs> it slipped. <laughs> Beautiful. That's why I want to see. No time to waste. Okay, can't do much anything else. Let's wait. You don't need Blade Ward, I don't think, right now. Yeah, it slipped through! Get him out They're both prone, so let's go get Let's get this over with. <laughs> nice. If I walk on there, it's gonna I might slip too, so let's see. Come on over. Got to press We're on the party. Got up. Oh. We're good. Two steps at a time. Go. Ah, you summoned a spider. I see. Spider do. Ah! 
Done. Blood comes easy these days. Hey, man. What's up? Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. We kind of expected as much. <laughs> I mean, they said that you turned into a bear and a lot of people said you were captured, so two and two together. Hey, I've heard you're an unmatched healer. I need your help. Indeed? Well, not the most opportune moment, but given the lengths you went to, I assume there's some urgency. Come on then, what's the problem? Unless you'd rather wait for an audience of goblins. I got the brain worms, buddy. <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The mind flares spawn. But something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Bro, I have no idea. We was on a ship. We got affected. Maybe something went wrong with the process. I don't know. Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. Okay. What have you learned of the origins? I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. So you seem to know a lot about this, but you come with me to Moonrise. Gladly, but first I must return to the Grove. As you made short work of the Goblin's leaders, there's nothing stopping me. Come join me in your own time. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. Hi. What was that? <laughs> oh, whatever. I'll send a sage. Woo. Ooh. Oh. I should mind my step. That might be nice for uh, our lap. Okay. Oh, yeah. You guys got anything to say about us uh, rescuing the druid? I did miss that face, you know. What do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. Alright. Well met. 
Okay. You've got nothing to say about Moonrise. May the darkness protect you. Oh, she, she thinks I'm awesome now. Okay. Hey, Scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am, Scratch. Sorry to, about what happened to your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Why is your collar glowing? Here's pets. Like you're a magic dog. Okay, for what's coming up. Will's been doing pretty good though. So we switch him out for Carlac. Or continue to decimate the goblin camp with him. <laughs> Her life's pretty good. I'll think about it. See how it goes. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Ooh. Oh, there's oh everything's bad. I have to slip from your row. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. LZ, I swear. Chukil Gake Vlaketh Mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your LZ. minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Just exhausted, lower your blade before you do something foolish. Woo! Come on, LZ. Chill out. I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust yours. I will wait, but know this, I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. Relax, girl. Oh! Came just in time. <laughs> you are transforming. It's Dante for the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I know your voice. I know your voice, I've heard it before. Yes, you have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Wait. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. 
What? We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Did your voice change a little? for the fate of Feyrun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that. But only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Feel better. I promise. That was different. Okay. <sighs> puppy. Puppy, I talked to you, puppy. Where's my potion? Hmm. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. <gasps> Did you find me stuff? What do you got? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Aww. Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. You are the best, best doggo. Super best doggo. Goodbye. I need to talk to all of my friends. Yes. Anyway. Um. A Sion Shadowheart. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Things is wild. I had the strangest dream last night. Uh, there was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Uh, I don't know, man. I think, I don't know if we should trust this. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? Honestly, <laughs> it's like you hate good news. <laughs> Did you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> Don't mad at me. You can have the, the bugs. I'll give them to you. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Haven't you as well? Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole. Use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. 
It seems like we can't escape this mess. In the waking world or otherwise. Huh. Everybody's struggling. Will. You struggling? I had a dream last night. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is, the tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by illithid worms. Yeah. We should probably not mess with the tadpoles. Well said. This dream figure is no friend to us. Let's check on everyone else. Gail, how are you holding up, bro? My apologies. Huh. <laughs> not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me, protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. Not entirely sure what to make of it. Uh, I had the same dream, a similar visitor, similar message. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of illithid parasites, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? No. Not at all. Like that, uh. Like this is sus, my dude. This is very sus. Nothing wrong with maintaining a healthy suspicion in such matters. Still, it might be wiser to keep an open mind on the matter. Our visitors' promises of aid might yet bear valuable fruit. Alright, that's what it's we'll, we'll leave it at that. LZ, you tried to kill me. Glick. I had a dream. As we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise, it is gate deception. Yeah, you're right. We are, we're gonna ignore this best as we can. A wise choice. These parasites are a threat to be destroyed, not an opportunity to be exploited. All right. Is it me or have you been looking at me differently? I have a confession. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. LZ! Dude! And what now? Now? Well, you've earned my respect and more still. You've proven your wits. You are efficient and dominant, in and out of battle. You've proven your courage. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon to plunge into another. That sounds sick. And you're hardly bland. Your scent alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. Um, excuse? Uh... Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? 
I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight, perhaps later, but I want it all the same. What the heck, Lazel? LZ. Do you? No. Sorry. Your loss, I fear. One day soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted, how my fingers on your skin might have felt, and you will wish you could return to this lost moment. We don't even hang out, girl. We don't even hang out like that. Arlac, you hear this? I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. Yeah, we all done did that. Intense. It was. And it seems so... Uh, not real. Not a dream, either. Anyway, I told the entity to make tracks. I don't need anything else from this tadpole, thanks very much. Okay, then. Well, I haven't, like, had her do the coins yet, either. Okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> 